Greetings, YouTubians. And yes, I say YouTubians. This here is a dedication video to Gunny57. This is a 9mm Beretta. This is my favorite sidearm of all time. And uh, don't worry, YouTube. Take a look. Eat my ass. And Gasm Newsoms can go suck a goat dick. Anywho, um, <sighs> capacity mag band. It's about, it's probably going to be lifted, but I wouldn't hold my breath for it. Matter of fact, a lot of people have been holding their breath, you know. I would love to have five more magazine, four, five more rounds in my magazine, learn how to talk. Jesus. I'd like to have five more rounds because the criminals have five more rounds, if not more. So basically, it's a a win-win, win-lose, and lose-lose. There you go. And even if they do repeal the magazine ban and they make it legal to have more than 10 rounds, then what? Then what? You know, think about that. Then what? Yeah, I'll be happy. But the thing is, they'll only find another reason to bring it back down to 10. And even though it's unconstitutional, which we already know, then <clears throat> basically we have to accept the fact that we have 10 rounds in our gun. And we're going to have to do a hell of a lot of defending if there's a home invasion. But it doesn't just have to be one gun. But the thing is, they're making so gun laws in California so tough, it's ridiculous. But the thing is, like I said, they're not getting my weapon. They're not getting none of my weapons. They're not getting my ammo. They're not getting my magazines. They're not getting doodly shit. They're not. You know why? Because none of them know what it's like... Put it this way. They don't have to worry about home invasions because, number one, they're protected. And even if somebody tried. And like I tell people, clear YouTube. Don't have a hissy fit. Eat my ass. I know how to take this thing apart and put it back together. See, there's a frame. Look at that. See? Look at that. See? Look at that. See? Recoil spring, guide rod. And this here is the pretty much the barrel right here. See that? And that's the frame. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, let me give you a closer look on what it looks like disassembled. Take a look. Uh, maybe not a good, maybe not a good one. But the thing is, putting it back is a breeze. Putting it back together is a breeze. Barrel right there. And it slides in. There you go. See? Look at that. Goes right in there. And then here's the guide rod, but you need the spring. To put the spring right there. There you go. And then you put the spring right there. And it fits right on the mold of the gun. And then you take the frame and put it right here. If I can get the... Okay, there we go. And then slide it on. And then flip this switch right here. And watch this. This thing is ready to rock and roll. See, that's, that's between gun cleanings, you know. I know how to take it apart. I know how to put it together. So you know what that means? I know how this thing functions. Politicians don't know how they function. I could take apart my Glock and do the same thing. I could take apart my shield and do the same thing. I could probably do the same thing to my shotgun, my Maverick 88, and same shit. If I don't know how to take it apart and put it back together, then what good am I as a gun owner? Hmm? Think about it. If it's going to be your first gun, maybe make it a Beretta or make it a Shield or make it a 380, but I don't do 380. And I darn sure don't do AK 47s or AR 15s. And like I said, the reason why I don't do AR 15s is because they're nice. I think they're a bit overrated, and basically I see it this way uh, I don't want to commit to the. 223 and 556 five, round. They're expensive. They're a pain in the ass. And besides, multiple shots will not get the job done. Multiple shots on one person? No. You know, OSOK. -okay. One shot, one kill. Four dynamics. Shotgun, one shot, many dynamics. And plus, it's more universal. So think about it. And pretty soon, I'm going to have that KS7, and I promise you, I am doing a review on it. 
I just got to go through the waiting day process right now. So when I do, I'm dedicating that to Gunnery Sergeant 57 or Gunny 57. There you go. So just all you gun owners out there, get as much ammo as you can. God knows I do. I have, but because um, 2024, who knows? But other than that, I wouldn't worry. Relax, chillax, have a good Sunday. Later.